The first raid took place on Tuesday outside the capital. Police killed seven suspected militants. One of them, the main suspect in the death of opposition politician Chokri Bilaid. His assassination last year was the first step that brought Tunisia to the brink of political crisis. The killing of opposition leader Mohamed Brahmi sent the country over the edge. Police launched a similar raid in the capital at the weekend. They say they've arrested the main suspect in Brahmi's murder. The opposition leader was very critical of the then ruling Inahda party. His death in July last year was blamed on Inahda. Many accused the party of failing to maintain security in the country. The two assassinations led to months of negotiations. Inahda finally stepped down in favor of the current secular interim government. But even though Tunisia's political landscape is healing, the family and friends of Chokri Bilaid are not. They are still demanding answers from authorities. We are still living under his influence because the truth is still being hidden. The truth about the assassination of our friend and a brother, Chakri Belaid, remains unknown. Earlier this week, Tunisians marked one year since his death. ENCA.com